Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'll show you how to make this animation in Eevee using the Extreme PBR Combo add-on. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by pressing X to delete the default cube. Then select the light source, go into the light settings, and let's turn it into a sun, and then set the strength to 15. Then let's go to the world settings, add an environment texture, open, what image you add does not really matter, so just Google free HDRI images and uh, just open a uh, random one. And then when we go into rendered view, you can see the background image. Now let's go into the render settings and uh, then go to film and turn on transparent. And then we can increase the number of samples, so let's set it to 100, both for the render and the viewport, which increases the render quality. And then let's turn on screen space reflections and refraction. Set the trace precision and the max roughness to 1, and then edge fading to 0. And then let's add the plane. So go to add, mesh, and then add a plane. Then press S to scale. And then we need to open the add-on. So press N, and then select the extreme PBR combo add-on if you have it. And then we need to select the rocks as a category. And then we will choose this one. And then let's enable everything under map kit, which gives us the displacement and so on. And then click add new to add the texture. And as you can see, we have the texture, but we do not have the displacement. And for that, we need to go to the UV editor and add some subdivisions. Let's go to edit mode, and then utility, and then click add vertex to be able to subdivide, and then subdivide until it's just uh, one orange plane, so you can't see the lines. Okay, and then press tab to go back to object mode, and as you can see, the displacement is added. But I'm going to increase the level of displacement, so uh, let's go to the displacement settings and then increase the strength value. Let's start with 15, for example. And I think I'm going to decrease it slightly. So let's set it to 12, for example. Okay, so now we have the stone texture with the three dimensional displacement. So now it's time to add the uh, water. So go to add mesh. Then let's add a plane, then press G, then set to grab the plane on the z-axis, and then press S to scale. And then we need to select the uh, water category in the extreme PBR combo add-on. And then click add new. Okay, so as you can see, we have the water, but we also need to animate it. So, uh, Let's go down to the uh, material settings. And I like to give the water a slightly blue color. So something like this. This is optional, you can add whatever color you want. And um, right now we have the static animation type, which means that the uh, water moves, but it's not a stream. So uh, let's go back to the first frame and change the type to flow which means that it flows in a direction. In this recording, I set the wave intensity to 5, but I actually recommend setting it to 2, which looks even better. Then set the speed to 3, and then wave detail to 16, and increase the wave strength slightly. I prefer not using the roughness value, so I'll just set it to 0, and then let's uh, play the animation. And as you can see, we have the flow animation. So now it's time to set up the render. So let's increase the length of the animation. Let's set it to 400 frames, which is slightly longer than uh, 250. Let's go to the first frame. And then go into the output settings. And uh, let's start off by setting the frame rate to 30 FPS, which I think looks better than 24. And then set the file format to AVI JPEG. And then let's uh, keep the quality at 90%. And 
and select a folder for the file animation. And you can select any folder on your computer and then give the animation a name and then press enter to save the name. Okay, so let's set up the camera, press numpad zero to look through the camera and then uh, go to view and then lock the camera to view. And let's go a bit backwards and then find a uh, camera angle that you like. I think I need to rotate the sun. So select the sun and then press R to rotate. I think that is fine. And let's unlock the camera to view. And as you can see, when we zoom in, there is a black line at the bottom of the frame. And uh, that has to do with an edge fading issue in Eevee. And we'll fix that later during editing. So uh, let's select the uh, rocks. And then press S to scale. And make sure they are large enough so that they uh, cover the whole frame. Okay. And uh, then let's... Uh, to a test render. So let's start off by setting the display mode to the image editor. And for these types of EV animations, we can use viewport rendering. And as you can see, we get the black line at the bottom. And we're going to uh, increase the resolution and then crop out the uh, black line. So let's set it to a 4K resolution. And by rendering it in 4K, we can crop out the black line and still get the 1080p resolution in the final animation. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, 3D view. And uh, now is the time to make the final adjustment. So S to scale down the stones slightly, and then G, then shift set to move them only on the X and Y axis. Okay, so let's play the animation, and it looks fine. So now it's time to render the animation. And we're not going to use the normal render, but the viewport render, which is much faster for these types of EV animations. So viewport render, and once the rendering is done, you can import it into a video editor like iMovie or uh, Movie Maker or any type of uh, video editor where you can crop the video. And then go to the cropping settings. And then I'm going to crop out the black line at the bottom. And then we can render it out. And uh, we'll set the final resolution to 1080p. And that's how you remove the black line at the bottom. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will post more EV tutorials very soon. So thank you guys for watching and subscribe.